are three little words standing between you and everything you want. Think about it. These words are like a wall, blocking the flow of energy, cutting off your blessings, stopping your dreams from becoming reality. But what if I told you that just by removing them and replacing them with something powerful, everything could change? Sounds simple, right? It is. And I'm about to show you exactly how to do it. Don't just take my word for it. Try it yourself and watch your life transform. Words are powerful. They're the start of everything. That's why it's essential to be mindful of them and learn how to master them. Your reality is shaped by the language you use. Even in the Bible, right from the start, Genesis tells us that God created the universe by speaking it into existence. Let there be light. Why is this important? Because words give clarity. What you talk about reflects what's clear within you. Think about trying to explain a topic you're unsure about. The words don't come easily. That's why clarity is key in creating your reality. Say it out loud or comment below. To create my reality, I need absolute clarity. Here's what often happens. Most people aren't clear on what they want. They have mixed feelings and beliefs, caught between wanting something and doubting if it's possible. This creates mental confusion. Words help us focus, organize, and direct our attention. But words are also vibrations, and since the universe is all vibration, your words send out signals that attract similar energies back to you. That's the law of attraction. To draw what you want into your life, you have to align with it, not repel it. Now, let's talk about the three words you need to change because they're blocking your blessings. The first one is, I wish, or I would like. Every time you say, I'd like to have this, or I wish I had that, you're telling the universe, I don't have it. This creates a vibration of lack. Instead, you need to vibrate as if you already have what you want. The universe responds to your energy, not your wishes. That's why Jesus taught that when we ask for something, we should believe we already have it. If you ask without this belief, you won't receive it because the energy you are sending out is one of absence, not abundance. When you say, I wish I had more money, I wish I'd pass this exam, or I wish I'd meet the right person, you're vibrating in the energy of lack. The world is full of I wish, and I would like to that lead nowhere. Take a moment to reflect. Where in your life are you using I wish to express your desires? Notice the results you're getting. Make it practical. Replace I wish with I know. Say, I know I'll achieve that. I know it's mine. I know it's part of my journey. I know it belongs to me by right. I am certain it's already in my world. This small shift can create a huge difference in your life. Here's a simple example. Think back to when you were young, maybe a teenager, and you started to wonder what it would be like to kiss someone. How many of you had that curiosity and even practiced on your hand, imagining what it would feel like? Those who believed it was possible and even practiced were often the ones who experienced it sooner than those who just wished for it but didn't truly believe it was possible. If you only wished for it, it probably didn't happen because you weren't putting out the energy that aligned with having it. It's the same now. When we're young, we're more willing to believe something is possible, unless we let doubts or the judgments of others get in the way. If you let beliefs like, I'm not attractive enough, or I'm too shy fill your mind, even the strongest desire won't manifest. So, align with the energy of what you want and watch your life change. When you create a mental image, truly believe, I know this will happen. It's already mine, and feel it deeply, things start to happen fast. The universe aligns with you because you're already resonating at the frequency of your desire. This is true for everything. These principles don't fail. If they seem to, it's because we're not applying them properly.
type this out. Principles don't fail. People do. Sometimes I get questions that really make me pause. Someone once asked, I want $120 million a month. What should I do? Now think about it. What are you making right now? If you're currently earning an average income, reaching $120 million a month isn't just a leap. It's practically beyond your mind's ability to believe. You don't have the reference for it, so no matter how many times you tell yourself it's possible, it feels out of reach. You have to start smaller, building up bit by bit until you're aligned with abundance. Start with realistic goals and study these principles so your mind becomes clear and your beliefs align with what you're aiming for. Remember, words carry energy. The energy you send out shapes what you manifest. Let's talk about that $120 million again. If you want to reach that level, you need to offer something incredibly valuable, something the world sees as worth that amount. Think of CEOs from Amazon or Tesla who provide tremendous value. If you're not at that level yet, those numbers will remain out of reach because the universe works on exact laws. And here's another word to avoid, need. Saying things like, I need more money, I need a job, I need a relationship, or I need better health actually pushes those things away. Here's an example. Have you ever noticed that when you're in a relationship, suddenly more people seem interested in you? And when you're single, the harder you look, the less you attract. Why does this happen? When you're in a relationship, you're radiating the frequency of love, and that draws more love in. But when you're single and longing for a relationship, you're actually vibrating in lack, which repels what you want. The more you focus on needing something, the more you push it away. Think of it this way. When you're acting out of primal, desperate desire, you end up chasing and coming up empty. But when you're calm and fulfilled, like when you're already in a relationship, you're resonating love and naturally attract more. This example is a clear way to see how the law of vibration works. If it helps you understand, comment below. Now, let's replace I need with I am, or I have. Instead of saying you need love, say, I am love, I have love. Instead of needing money, say, I am abundant, I have abundance. Imagine the universe as a parent that wants to give you everything. Start saying, I have, I am, and you'll begin to resonate with what you want. Even if it feels strange at first, convince yourself and keep repeating it until it feels true. Think about any areas in your life where you say, I need this or that, and you'll likely see their areas where you're struggling. Change it to I am or I have. Instead of saying, I need an opportunity, say, I am pure opportunity. I am filled with potential. It's all about faith, or rather, unwavering conviction. Let's talk about the phrase, I can't. When you say, I can't, your subconscious takes it seriously, looking for proof to make it real. It's like giving a command. Your mind will find ways to show you that you actually can't. If you look at someone who isn't thriving, you'll often hear them say, I can't a lot. It's time to shift from limitation to possibility. Type this below. I need to stop thinking in terms of limitation and start thinking in terms of possibility. When you focus on limitation, you're running on autopilot, survival mode, the brain's energy saving setting. But when you think in terms of possibility, you're stepping into a higher level of thinking, the superconscious. This is the mind that's rich with potential, where anything feels achievable. If you're aiming for real success, you need to leave behind the limitations of your subconscious and start living from the superconscious, the space of limitless possibilities. Let go of limitation and start living in possibility. Start by swapping out, I can't for I can. Take a look at where you say, I can't, in your life. You'll likely find those are the areas where you're stuck. 
I know this firsthand. I used to be held back by a limited mindset, shaped by beliefs like abundance isn't for you. Some things can't be cured. Love is luck, and people can't be trusted. I used to believe those things until I made the choice to change them. Now, I'm here to show you how, but you've got to believe it and put it to use. Replace I can't with I can, I want it, and I deserve it. Type it in the comments. I can, I want it, and I deserve it. This simple statement holds everything you need. I can opens up possibility. I want it connects you with deep desire. I deserve it means that the universe is ready to provide it. When you replace I can't with I can, I want it, I deserve it, and keep repeating it, you'll start to believe it's possible for you. Your desire grows stronger, and you feel it's yours, that you truly deserve it. With this mindset, give it your all, and you'll achieve it all.